Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I'm at the Inside 3D Printing Conference here in New York City. I'm gonna take a look at some of the vendors that are out here and do a little bit of interviews with them. So let's check it out. Okay, we are Rikus Company and we are focused to elastic filaments. And now we, we are here in New York because uh, I would like to show you our new new materials and the new suit that we have developed to bring uh, with with an open possibilities with elastic materials. And and also we have developed new materials that are uh, semi-flex and the ultra soft material. I want to focus on the ultra soft material because we are the first company that can print with this soft material at the moment. And so you can print a, a really soft part and also you can print directly on fabrics. Okay? And also we have we have a lunch today, a new strutter, a new strutter that allows you to bring with a high reliability uh, all the flexible materials. Okay, this strutter allows you to, to fit in, in almost any printers without any problem and allows you to, to become a, a more expertise in uh, printing uh, elastic materials. And, uh, and yes, of course, now uh, we have good news. Uh, we have opened a new office here in the uh, United States, in New Jersey, and because we want to, to, to give a, a very good service to our customer here. And, and also, we are thinking uh, to produce here also the, the film in the United States uh, along the, the next years. And, and yes, uh, we, we are very happy to, to be here. And, and I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. So I'm with Pinshape. Uh, we're a 3D model repository and community of 3D printing enthusiasts where you can go and sell your 3D designs or share them with the community or come if you're looking for designs to print. Uh, come check out. We've got tons and tons of models. Uh, it's a great community to interact with. We also have lots of educational articles on our blog to check out if you're just getting into 3D printing. Um, so there's lots of exciting stuff and lots of contests as well. We do monthly contests uh, for 3D design and 3D printing. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. I'm Brooks Willis. I'm a mechanical engineer at Form Labs. Uh, our printer, the Form 2, uh, is one of the most advanced uh, desktop, or is the most advanced desktop SLA printer uh, currently on the market. Um, we offer a lot of um, variety, uh, thick variety of resins, um, from our standard resins that are an acrylic equivalent, um, that are excellent for model making, uh, designing sculptures, and just like basically visual equivalents of uh, upcoming products, prototypes, that sort of thing. We also have a line of engineering resins, such as our tough material, which is an ABS equivalent um, that's good for like high, like high strength prototyping, um, and our durable material, which is a polypropylene equivalent um, that's very good for um, prototyping. Spray bottle, a spray bottle is our, our example part, where it's a little bit flexible, so it gives you just that nice give, like a thin polypropylene part would have, um, but you can really easily just uh, print one out on your desk overnight and then see what your designs are going to do. Uh, yeah, so, well, 
Isan, we do filaments, so we sell filaments, we make filaments, so we do a lot of variety of different colors and types and specialty filaments. Um, color change, steel, conductive, bronze, aluminum fill, I mean, you name it, we probably kind of have it. So, that's a synopsis of our... Uh, cool! Awesome, and you guys also do the pens as well? Yes, we have pens and we have a special material called E-Mate, which is a low temperature material, so it's safe for young kids to use. Um, it's not hot and it's actually, um, you can reuse it, you submerge it into hot water and you can remold it and play with it. It's very, very cool. cool. Yes. And are these uh, like dresses that were made with the... Yes, somebody <laughs> made them. So this and this is made from E-Mate material and this is from PLA material, all made from the pen. Um, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> So we are a manufacturer of 3D printers uh, of various kinds that is under FDM technologies and we also manufacture our own filaments and all these are done in Singapore, not China, Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can see some of our parts. Uh, one of our engineers uh, is designing this uh, <laughs> aeroplane. Okay, it consists of seventy two parts using this Hyper Plus 3, the acrylic base uh, printer to print this uh, with using 300 hours and it costs around 6 kg heavy yeah for this uh, aeroplane to be complete yeah cool. so uh, right now because just now has some disturbance by customers <laughs> yeah. doing so, some repair work yes some repair work was now doing yes so let's see how this aeroplane perform <laughs> okay quick turn it up it's on video now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that uh, we also came up with our new filaments, PLA alloys, uh, which I believe in the markets, a lot of people are not uh, producing PLA alloys. Why we came up with these alloys is because we want to strengthen the PLA in terms of mechanical strength. Yeah, we serve a lot of customers in more towards industrial base. Yes. Very cool. Okay, you can see the aeroplane. Oh, okay. it's up and running now. Yeah. It's running now. Okay, actually. This is our alloy. Yeah, this is our alloy uh, combinations color that we just came up for this exhibition. Yep. Very cool. Yep. And this is a free gift for handphone holders, and that is for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, we are 18 ventures. We're from South Korea, based on South Korea. We are manufacturing 3D printer and then IoT device. You can watch the was that the printing while it's printing. Yeah, camera wise, and then you can control the printer through the app. Yeah, that's what we are doing it now. Yeah. Really? Then the we are, we have the platform to shoot the 3D printer like sharing. So if you don't, even though if you don't have the 3D printer, you can share your file. Then you can print it from someone else, and they can take it. Uh, can get it from the owner. Yeah, that's okay. what we do. Uh, hi, Mark Wall with Igus. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions today about do we manufacture 3D printers, and we do not. We have a couple 3D printers here that we're using to show off a lot of the products that IGUS makes. We, uh, if, if your machinery of any kind has motion, we make the products that allow the motion to happen. So if you look at the printers on there, we have three different energy chains with cables inside of them on three different axes. We have some of our lead screws. We have a plethora of products here from chain flex to energy chain, bearings, slides, bushings, lead screws. So any kind of machinery that has motion, we make the products that allow the motion to happen on a particular machine. Hello, how are you? My name is Lisa Griffin. I'm with EnvyBots. This is our automated 3D printer. Um, the difference between our printer and every printer in the world is that we remove the part and start the next part in the print queue. We're also an automated, um, sorry, cloud-based software package. So when you buy our printer, you don't only just get the printer, you get the actual software that works on the cloud. Um, our cloud allows a administrator to invite unlimited users. Those users upload the file. That's step one. Step two is the administrator approves it and then step three the part goes into the print queue just like a paper printer the print uh, the printer will print the part remove the part and start the next part in the print queue that's what's unique about envy bots 
Well, we're Flashforge USA. We're uh, the USA distributor for the China branch located in China. Uh, we sell 3D printers, filaments, and any uh, parts needed to replace uh, parts that have broken in. Uh, all our printers come with a three month warranty, so anything that's broken in the warranty we'll be able to replace for you. Uh, we have lifetime email support, so anything that ha happens with your printer, you can email us, uh, give us a phone, phone call, and we'll be happy to help you fix your printer. Uh, we have uh, been in business for to three to four years now. So we're very uh, familiar with our thermoplastic printers. We have a new printer that's coming out, which is the DLP printer. So that is the direct uh, lighting projection printer, and that'll use a UV light. And so it being the UV light and the DLP printer, it would be a lot faster than the SLA printer that you would see, so that's the laser one. Uh, so it would cut down on build time. Um, so these two printers that you see on my left and right, this right one would be our Inventor series, uh, mostly the upgraded Finder version. This one's selling for around 600, and this one on my left would be a dual extrusion uh, 3D printer, and that's the Inventor. And this one's selling for around 1,200. Yeah. So if you have any call, uh, uh, questions, give us a call on our on our on our phone number. Uh, anything else, just uh, we'll be happy to help you. All right, that was a quick look at the conference. This was really fun. It was great getting to chat with a whole bunch of these vendors. Hopefully, we'll see some more videos from me in the future working with these folks here. But I just want to say thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed. Leave me some comments down below. I've also got some links to the particular vendors that I've interviewed and met with today. So make sure to check them out over on social media and their websites. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.